organizer to Mike Lindell, the MyPillow CEO. The organizer says, you know, this stays between us after the ellipse. POTUS is going to have us march there slash the Capitol. It cannot get out about the second stage because people will try and set up another and sabotage it. It can also not get out about the march because I will be in trouble with the National Park Service and all the agencies. But POTUS is going to just call for it, quote, unexpectedly. And then on the morning of January 5th, Ali Alexander, whose firebrand style concerned Katrina Pearson, sent a similar text to a conservative journalist. Mr. Alexander said, tomorrow, ellipse, then U.S. Capitol. Trump is supposed to order us to the Capitol at the end of his speech, but we will see. Ellipse, then U.S. Capitol. So, revealed today by the January 6th investigation, it was the plan all along for Trump to say to the crowd that he was rallying just outside the White House. It was the plan for him all along for him to tell them unexpectedly that they should leave that rally site and walk to Congress walk to the U.S. Capitol building across town where Congress was meeting to count the electoral votes. That had not been put in the rally permit application. That is not something that had been discussed in the upper echelons of government among any of the agencies that would have to work in order to make a movement like that safe or anything approaching safe. It was going to be a surprise. The rally organizers, the Stop the Steal people were told, people like Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, were told that these were the president's secret plans. But the actual government was not told because they knew in advance that if those agencies had advance word that was Trump's plan, they'd try to stop it. So this was a private plan among the president and the people he was using to summon the crowds to Washington, one that needed to be kept secret from the government because, of course, what it was was a plan for a physical overthrow of the government. So that was news today. Um, as we will see in a moment, the investigators also revealed that uh, while, while Trump's speechwriter